All right, good morning and welcome back to Master Toka online class. We are asked to solve this simple math problem, okay? Now, if you are asked to solve, it means you are going to get all the solutions of x, okay? And if you look at this x, this x is raised to power 4. So the solutions are going to be 4. We are going to have 4 answers, okay? So now let us have, they gave us x raised to power 4, then is equal to what? Minus 64. Now, if this one crosses here, I'm going to have that this is, x to the power 4 plus 64 is equal to 0. Now, let us reduce this to quadratic, okay? Now, x to the power 4 is everything I'm saying. x to the power 2, then all raised to the power another 2. Because 2 times 2 will give us 4. Then plus 64 is equal to 0, okay? So, I'm going to have that. Uh, let's say that let's... Let x square this x square let it be equal to y okay so anywhere i see x squared i'll put y so this will not be y all squared all right then plus 64 is equal to zero so which is something i saying y squared plus you know that 64 is something i saying 8 squared i hope you know that uh -huh. is equal to what zero now there's something i want to show you if you have x plus y all squared okay now if you want to open this bracket this is something i'm saying square the first one you have x squared square the last one you have y squared then multiply the first one and the second one double it you have two times the first one times the second one okay uh -huh. now let us apply this same thing here and i want this x squared and y squared to stay alone so if i want these people to stay alone it means that this one is going to come to this side. So therefore, x squared plus y squared is not the same thing as saying x plus y all squared. Then minus, because this is plus, going here becomes minus. Minus 2 multiplied by x multiplied by y. So let us apply the same thing here. So these two things, the same thing as saying y plus 8 all squared minus 2 times 8 times y okay is equal to zero now having this i'm going to see that this is something i'm saying this is something i'm saying um <coughs> sorry this is something i'm saying y plus eight all squared minus this time this time this to give you 16 y is equal to zero now let us replace our y back remember that y is equal to s squared let us put it back so this is something i'm saying x squared plus 8 all squared then minus 16 x squared is equal to 0 okay now believe me that this thing is the same thing as saying um this is something as saying let's have x squared plus 8 all squared minus 16 can be written as 4 squared so this is 4 x all squared is equal to 0 because 4 squared will give you 16 x squared will give you x squared. Now, if you look at these two people, it's the same thing as saying, if I have x squared minus y squared, we call it difference of two squares. So this is the same thing as saying, x plus y multiplying by x minus y, okay? So please, if you got to this point, thank you very much for getting to this place. Please don't forget to support us by clicking on that subscribe button, okay? You like the video, you comment and share to your friends. Now, very importantly, I have any topic at all you need in mass physics and chemistry in this my youtube channel just if you come to my my profile go straight to the playlist and you will find any topic at all you are looking for in physics chemistry and mass so let us continue so having this this is the first one squared and the second one squared they are different so this is the same thing as saying this is something as saying that first one x squared plus eight okay uh -huh minus that second one then multiply by that same first one okay then plus that second one is equal to zero so if you open this bracket it's going to now be it's going to be x squared plus uh eight minus four x and multiply by x squared plus eight plus 8, then plus 4x. 
is equal to zero okay now don't forget that when the product of two things is zero automatically one of them must be zero so let me arrange it very well this is the same thing as saying x squared minus 4x plus 8 okay then x squared plus 4x then plus 8 is equal to 0 now let us solve this so it means that the first one it means that x squared sorry it means that the first one which is um it means that that x squared minus 4x plus 8 is equal to 0 or x squared plus 4x plus 8 is equal to 0 okay now is any of this factorizable uh, let us check if you check 8 for instance 8 to divide is 4 uh, 4 divide is 1 this and this is giving us 6 so is not factorizable so we are going to solve it with complete uh, with a uh, quadratic formula so the quadratic formula say that x is equal to what minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac everything over what 2a so so which means that what that our x is equal to this is my b okay here my a is equal to my uh, one my b is equal to minus 4 and my c is equal to 8 so let us put it so i'm going to have minus into minus 4 then plus or minus the square root of minus 4 all squared then minus 4 into okay minus 4 into 1 then into 8 mm -hmm. then everything over 2 into 1 okay the same is applicable this side so for this side let me just draw a line for this side i have that what that x is equal to using the same formula minus 4 plus or minus the square root of the square root of 4 squared minus 2 sorry minus 4 into 1 and into 8 then everything over what 2 into 1 okay so having this we are going to see that this is now that x is equal to this and this is giving us 4 obviously plus or minus the square root of here is 16 and this is um 64 right mm -hmm. minus 64 then everything over what 2 and then i'm having that here is x is equal to what minus 4 plus or minus the square root of the square root of the same thing here again 16 minus 64 everything over what 2 ah so you now have that this minus this will give you what this is x is equal to what 4 plus or minus the square root of uh, 64 64 minus um 64 minus 16 will give us um 64 64 minus 16 I'm going to have 48 so i'm going to have minus 48 okay four times eight okay sorry four times eight is 32 not 64 so that's a mistake so this is 32 that's a mistake sorry okay so this is 32 sorry 32 and here is 32 okay so 32 minus this will give you minus 16 so i have minus 16 i had the same thing this side again this is x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus the square root of minus 16 everything over what 2 so if you want to finish it up now you now have that sorry this is everything over 2 so here is now that x is equal to 4 plus or minus uh square root of 16 is 4 square root of minus is i okay everything over 2 and if you come to this side you are going to have the same thing again that x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus 4i all over 2. So the answer here, divide everybody by 2. You have that x is equal to what? 2 plus or minus 2i. So here, x is equal to what? Minus 2 plus or minus 2i. So the final answer becomes that x is equal to 
2 plus 2i for 1 here. The next one here is 2 minus 2i. Then the next one here is what? Minus 2 plus 2i. And then the last one is minus 2 minus 2i. So these are all the solutions to this problem. You see, we have four answers. Why? Because the polynomial itself has four uh, power. The, the power is four. If you look at it, the power here is four. That is why we have four answers. So thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, please. Okay? And share to your friends. Uh -huh. Share to your friends. May the peace of the Lord be with you. Bye-bye.